Hi, I'm Jeff Kinney, author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, and I'm excited to tell you a bit about my brand new book, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, where you get to see the wimpy kid world in a whole new way. In this book, Greg Heffley's best friend, Rally Jefferson, takes on the role of Greg's biographer and tells loads of funny stories about their friendship. As you might expect, biography doesn't quite turn out the way Greg would have liked. I think you'll enjoy seeing things from Rally's perspective, and I hope you have a ton of fun reading it. It's really exciting to be writing the 14th Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. I never thought I'd get past three, so this is really just uncharted territory for me. Uh, what inspires me is the fact that childhood is a really big universe. In this next book, I'm writing about home improvements and displacement and moving. These are things I've never written about before, but these are things that kids experience universally. Uh, so it's really fun to keep looking for new aspects of childhood that I've never written about before. The thing I've learned from the Wimpy Kid movies and the musical we produced is that we're always rooting for Rally. The audience always wants Rally to win. And I thought I'd turn the Wimpy Kid universe on its head by showing the wimpy world through Rowley's eyes. And it was really fun to do. It was really refreshing. It was a kick in the pants for me uh, to do something really different. And I had a ball doing it. The thing about Rowley is that Rowley is, is a child who likes being a child. He's very innocent, he's very pure, he's not really corrupted by Greg. I think that's why their friendship works, is because Greg keeps trying to corrupt Rowley in a way, but he can't because Rowley's just too pure. And this comes across in Rowley's uh, writing style and his drawing style, his, his childlikeness comes across. Uh, you know, Rowley doesn't even draw noses on his characters, which just drives Greg crazy. But I think that if you look at the drawings, there's still the DNA of the wimpy kid world. So it's a fine balance because Rowley almost draws like a five-year-old. Of course, he's a middle schooler, uh, but the style is also recognizable as, as mine. It was really fun writing from Rowley's point of view because Rowley is just all over the place. He's supposed to be writing Greg's biography in his book, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, which I guess is kind of complicated, uh, but Rowley just can't stay on task. He's supposed to be writing about Greg, but he just ends up writing about the sleepovers that he's had with Greg and the time they did this together, the time they did that together. And I think that was really fun to sort of write from a really, really innocent point of view. You know, Rowley doesn't really realize he is doing a bad job of being Greg's biographer, but of course Greg is very uh, upset by this, this being his official biography. Um, so it was really fun to write from Rowley's point of view. The conceit of Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid is that Rowley starts off wanting to have a book just like his best friend Greg's, just like Greg's diaries. And so he starts off writing about himself. Immediately, Greg finds out about this book and comes up with a better idea for the book. He thinks that this book should be his own biography and he gives Rowley the chance or the honor or the privilege to write uh, uh, Greg's first ever biography. And I think that's really kind of twisted, but it's also really fun because of course Rowley just very happily goes along with the idea as a best friend would. I'm going to be writing loads more Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, so don't worry, you'll still be able to read about the Wimpy Kid universe seen through Greg's eyes. But I'd really like to write more Rowley books. I think it's a lot of fun, and I think it's really fresh, and he can write in lots of different styles about lots of different genres. So I'd really like to get there where Rowley is authoring lots of books.